Play up ID 213871, Jack Viney. Casey Scorpions, Ash Burton Junior Football Club. And he's not just a battering ram, he's got tricks. Oh, beautiful spinning pirouette out of trouble for Viney. Oh, so impressive. Viney twists and turns and does it magnificently. And the great short takes a beauty. Sweet handle out wide, Jack Viney's back. Oh. Wouldn't he love to kick the first goal? Jack Viney, he's as brave and tough as they can. Brilliantly shaped off the pack to Weller at full pace. He tries to push Viney away. And you do argue at your own peril with Jack Viney. Viney spins out. Snap and goal. It's there. They're within a goal. The demons are about tens. I try and use my off season as a, a chance to relax, let the body recover, obviously, but also to try a few different things. So I did um, eight weeks internship at Deloitte. Um, you know, luckily they, they do a kind of summer internship program. I really wanted to fully immerse myself at, at Deloitte and that was a full-time job in itself. Um, that, that meant I had to get up at 5 a.m. To, to train every, every day. This is uh, Richo. Oh, hey, okay. nice 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 uh, it was completely by chance. I just was having a kick on a Saturday. I think by, my, you know, by myself, I was just having a few shots on goal and then a uh, young lad came over and said, oh, you're looking a bit lonely, can I have a kick of the footy with you? I said, mate, yeah, I'd love, I'd love a partner to kick with. I was asking a lot about my training. I said, mate, I'm, I know it's early, but I, I train at this over at 5 a.m. on you know, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, you're welcome to join in. And he jumped at the opportunity. So I actually ended up with a couple of running um, and training partners by the end of, uh, of, of my break, which was, which was good, because they were pretty good runners too. <laughs> Having someone else there to um, just chat with and, and you know, push you in your efforts makes training a lot easier. It's um, my 5 a.m. was pretty dark, dark time in the morning, and you know a lot can run through your head when you're training early in the morning by yourself. That's you, fellas. Good work. Right. Oh, Good work. Yeah, that was. That was probably the most challenging part of the experience was my number one focus is football and family. Um, so I, from the, the outset, um, I knew that was my priority and I would, I would make time to make sure I was doing my program to a T and I was spending time with family. So that allowed me to get home around kind of 6.30 when my kids wake up. Um, so I kind of got an hour with them in the mornings before taking off to work. Uh. <laughs> I was probably a little bit, um, oh, I was definitely selfish in, make, in, in kind of doing this internship in that I, I probably didn't realise the impact it would have on, on Charlotte, um, you know, because she, she rides the highs and lows of the football season um, just as much as, as I do. And the off season for her is, it, it's, an, it's a chance to kind of, take a breather as well and you know she was an absolute trooper during that eight weeks. I definitely had a few people stop me out at a train station or uh, you know on the tram saying what the hell are you doing in a suit and a tie and even in the office at Deloitte they'd maybe been worded up by a couple of their work colleagues that 
I was a footy player and I was coming to the office, but for them to sit down with me and just treat me as if I was kind of this new intern who needed help with a certain issue, like that was that was really refreshing. Oh, I was so nervous because whilst I'd done a degree in commerce and, and majored in finance, kind of going into the corporate world where I knew very little, um, I didn't know anyone either. I, I was really starting from, from scratch, so no, I was pretty, pretty nervous about how it was going to pan out. You know, I was lucky to kind of get my hands dirty early and, and I guess I was trusted by the team at Deloitte to, uh, to actually do some, some real life work. So you know, I remember kind of getting some work given to me you know, after a couple of team meetings about, no, we need you to do this. Uh, and I had no idea how to, like, what was required. So, you know, your, your problem solving skills about, you know, I don't know what to do, but I'm sure someone in the office can help me. Quite quickly, you, you work out how to solve the issues given to you, and you know that's really similar to to footy in that you got to rely on your teammates. So I thought we might start by just kind of recapping what we got out of Wednesday's session. And if you don't know what a flat file is, can I say that? Flat file would be our their data into a vertical format. Um, there's vertical flat file, and then there's your typical monthly run. The problems thrown at me were something I, I'd never dealt with before, but I guess the process of getting to a solution is something that, you know, translate quite, quite well to, to football. The balance sheet, always use the month end date that it relates to. You know, at, at Deloitte, these, um, you know, highly competitive, these accounting firms, you know, it gets to the end of the day, which for me was technically 5.45, I think, but there's not many people budging from there from their desks at 5:45, it's a, you know they really work hard there and they spend spend hours on their work and you know that was something I also you know tried to embrace as well was um, you know I'm seeing these people around me stay behind and that's something you know I felt like you know I should I should be doing as well. I came away from it thinking it was an amazing experience, extremely positive one. Um, the people I worked with were, you know, incredible and, um, you know, made some terrific friends. Um, it's, it's really helped me look for the look to the future as well because I, I want to continue to do experiences like that. A lot of my teammates and people I was chatting to were like, you're crazy for doing that, you're going to get to pre-season and be mentally exhausted but it was such a different stimulus. Like I didn't think of football much over my off season. I was, I was really invested in a different area. Um, you know, that I, I felt like I had that kind of release from football and I came to training mentally refreshed and eager to get into it. Um, so yeah, definitely by the time uh, pre-season rolled around, I was, I was chomping in the bit and eager to get stuck into it.